So in this section, we're going to talk about how to store and recall our memories. This is very important for setting up my effects and being able to bring them back at a later time. So here, we've decided on Emily 1 that we're going to build uh, a two box. So if I do it in, say, one, one keyer per box, I hit select, I've got my, my DVE box over top of my whatever background it is I feel like putting in it. Uh, so we'll just uh, put a different still store behind the box. In key two, I've got two boxes because I can perform multiple boxes as we showed in the DVE segment inside of a single keyer. So now this is an effect that I want to bring back at a later time. So in my memory area, I can say that I want to store and you can pick any of the MLEs you want. I could do both. So it would always recall this to both MEs, bringing back Emily 1 as this cross point, all the keys turned off here, and then my effect here. But I'm just going to store Emily 1 for now. Then I can pick any register I want. You have bank 0 or any bank that you'd like. So banks can be accessed and then an individual register. So we'll say memory 99. So 9, press enter. Now anytime I make a change and if I just clear it by pressing store and recall together, now the entire ME is blanked out and goes back to black. At any time I can just now hit the recall Emily 1 and recall memory 99. And upon recalling it, now my memory will recall to the row as I had it. What's important to note is when you're storing these memories, including your, your sources, you have the ability to set attributes. So in my attributes section, I can go ahead and I can program what elements store and what elements don't. The way I'd want it is I want to make sure my background recalls with this memory. I want to make sure whatever was on the preset bus recalls. I want to make sure that key one's sources as well as its on-air states all recall. And even my still store channels can also recall based on whatever is assigned. So now I'm going to restore that. And after getting it, now when we do our recall, everything recalls exactly how we had it. So normally, I would be on my camera shot, and I would put Emily 1 in preview. I would recall that 3 box. I would be able to see my, my preview, that my 3 box is, is there. And if I needed to change one of the boxes, like say this source needs to go to camera 1, I can change that in preview before transitioning it to program. So that's how we store memories and how we use them for recalls as well.